now yesterday that uh, we monitored from the helicopter SDF uh, from the overseas and the building was monitored and the four, fourth reactor Sorry, as of yesterday, that we monitored the, the building conditions from the air, and there is a water left in the fourth reactor of the cooling pool, and also there is a vapor filling of that uh, smoking. Uh, uh, the vapor is going up to the third reactor, so that uh, we decided to give the priority the third reactor to cool first. The water cannon of the, the MPA that uh, are coming this way, as to the water cannon trucks, as uh, we have um, reported to you, they already uh, reached here yesterday. And as for the others, and uh, they reached the uh, Fukushima Daini today, this morning around 11 o'clock. And with the confirmation of that uh, procedure, that they will go to drive to the Daiichi. And the police, 13 crew members of the police, is going to work for the water cannon of the MPA. That's about all the information from our side. We are currently assessing the effects. We have been able to confirm that there is water in the spent nuclear fuel pond, but we do not know how much water. Is, are the rods exposed? We don't have information yet that the rods were, what rods are exposed. This information is as of yesterday when we conducted the survey from overhead. The TEPCO news conference is still going on. Here is the first part of the news conference that you missed earlier. From around 6.15, the pressure was measured to be rising, but the pressure levels is cur are currently stabilizing. And today, to cool the spent nuclear fuel pond, we asked the self-defense force for assistance, and they are currently dumping water onto the reactor to try to fill the pond with water. We are very grateful to the self-defense forces. It was the news conference given by the Tokyo Electric Power Company. So, uh, Mr. Mizuno, any new information? The most important point is that they are dumping water over the third reactor, and the decision was made because yesterday when the SDF helicopter surveyed the site, they found that there was still water left in the spent nuclear fuel pond of the number four reactor, and they don't know how much water was left, but they did not observe that the nuclear fuel rods were exposed, so there was still sufficient water to submerge the nuclear fuel rods. So they decided that priority should be given to the number three reactor, and as the defense minister said earlier, Today is the absolute limit for dealing with the third reactor. So it was just the number four reactor in the spent nuclear fuel pond, there's still water left. So we guess that in the third reactor in the nuclear fuel pond, there's almost no water left. So going back to uh, Professor Yamaguchi, they're preparing to spray the third reactor from the ground. What needs to be paid attention in an operation like this to make it effective? for each operation to maximize the effect. The, all the information needs to be put together and judged comprehensively. For example, things are being observed from the helicopter and they found that in the number four reactor there is still water in the spent fuel pond. That sort of information becomes very important at some point. So right now we need to know the dose, radiation dosages and we need images from the helicopter 
and information from the FDS, SDF personnel. We need to put all this information together and make a comprehensive decision so that the workers, the SDF personnel, can be kept safe from radiation. So a strategic planning is necessary. So we need to have a good, accurate assessment of the current situation. Is that right? That's right. Yes, we need to know exactly what is going on. And Professor Yamaguchi, I know it's difficult to say, but do you think are there, there are any more effective measures? I believe that there are other methods possible, but what is more effective at this point is very difficult to say. Therefore, I believe that the people involved are choosing whatever means they think is the most effective. And as a result of trying one method, they will know what the outcome is, and then they'll think of the next. So the most effective method cannot be defined at this point in time. So they have to find what is the most effective by trial and error. And water will be sprayed from the ground by trucks, and the riot police have brought in the water cannon truck. This can spray water to a distance of 50 meters. But, and up to about 30 meters, they can aim the water fairly accurately. But beyond 30 meters, the water starts to disperse. So they, it would be good if they could get close. But in getting close, we need to protect the police personnel from radiation. Therefore, once again, the situation on the site needs to be assessed ac accurately. I understand. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Yamaguchi of Osaka University was with us, and Mr. Mizuno will stay with us for the analysis. Uh, we have a live report from the, the Disaster Prevention Center of Fukushima Prefecture, Prefectural Government. The TEPCO's uh, staff briefed on the, the cooling conditions of the Fukushima Daiichi reactor. According to the staff, the four times of the airdrop by the helicopter of the SDF was conducted. Before and after the, the airdrop, there was hardly any change of the radiation level of within that the nuclear power plant. And the water cannon, or that uh, douching of the water from the water cannon of the Metropolitan Police Agency will start shortly. That, according to that, uh, the measurement, that the suppression chamber of the number three reactor uh, went up temporarily, but uh, dropped to the safe level by now. And according to the Prefecture of Disaster Prevention Policy meetings for the, the evacuees, that uh, they are going to do the screening condition, uh, uh, screening measurement of whether that they are contaminated or not. For one day yesterday, uh, more than 10,000 people were screened, but so far, that um, there are no people that, uh, some people that uh, have to wipe away the, the clothes and the, the shoes, but no person required the, the total decontamination. This is the seventh day after the disaster, and the power plant is very still um, unstable, and therefore the prefectural government is having a hard time to decide that the policy and effective measures that a helicopter drop by the SDA and the water counting of the police and uh, there have been that the many assets of the cooling operations going on at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. This is 7.30 this morning and uh, this is the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant and four reactors in front of me. And our reporter confirmed that the white vapor-like smoke from the the third reactor, and uh, nearby, that the uh, water cans that are uh, belonging to the uh, the fire engines actually of that uh, self defense forces are standing by nearby. The third reactor and four reactor of the nuclear power plant suffered that the major damage of the building and they lost the function of the cooling of the fuel rods. If the situation continues like this and there is a fear 
of the grave fear of the, the spilling of the nuclear power um, radi radioactive materials. And so the government asked that the police and SDA for the cooling operation. At around the same time, uh, from the, this woman says that she's very, very scared. Well, that she says that when the earthquake stops, that's the stop of this uh, story. However, that if I'm contaminated with the radiations, that, that her fight starts from there. And one of the evacuees says, and at 9.48 this morning, the first round of the airdrop was conducted from on top of the third reactor. This was the first round of the airdrop. CH-47 helicopter 2 formed a wing, and altogether they dropped four times of the seawater.